Yes. <laughs> hello, 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 everybody. Y'all already know what time it is. Y'all are tuned in to the Fox Cave Chronicles. And today, we have a special treat for y'all because we have none other than one of my favorite sponsors, yes. Miss Stacy Holmes from Sussy Bubbles. Yes, <laughs> Okay, Stacy, we are so glad to have you here today. Well, thank you for having me. And before we get into what you got going on, I'm going to go ahead and shout out to my other sponsors, okay? I mean, we started off with zero sponsors, y'all. Right. We have gotten up to eight sponsors now. I think that is just Thanks, totally awesome. Thanks, totally awesome. I'm thankful for that. I'm blessed for that. And um, just just thankful for my sponsors. Um, but I want y'all to know something. Now, the Fox Cave Chronicles, I know that we are about the music. We all about Mississippi artists, you know, and Mississippi music. But don't limit us to just that, to only that. We're not limited to only that. We're also here for the black-owned business. Yes, black-owned You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so we, we, we thankful for all our black-owned and operated businesses, and we're thankful for our sponsors. And we're going to give y'all some recognition right. for that. Right, we sure do appreciate it. No problem. <laughs> I mean, that's what we're here yeah. for. I mean, we got to start helping each other more, y'all. You know, and supporting each other and more. support is support. Support. It yeah. Whether it's a like, a share, a tag, a word of mouth. Right? I mean, that's support the, is support. to me, no matter what, support is support. The littlest thing count and matters and can go a long way. So let's start supporting each other more. And y'all see people with these businesses and stuff, no matter what they got going on, it don't take a dollar to push the share button and or the share. like button. You know what I'm saying? Or the so, follow. Yeah. All right. Um, before we go on, um, I want to shout out to my co-host, uh, Sharita Robinson. That's not here today. She's, she's under the weather. She was supposed to co-host today, but she's under the weather, so we are praying that she gets better. But I do have fee as in pay me what here. Up, what up, what up? <laughs> So she will be co-hosting today. I mean, this evening. I myself am under the weather also. But guess what? She took. Suck it up, buttercup. I'm right here. The show must <laughs> go on. It. So I'm here to bring y'all what y'all want. Um, shout out to Sonya Allen at the Kitchen Angel. Y'all know y'all can reach her at www.thekitchenangel.com. Also, she's on Facebook, the Kitchen Angel, and Instagram. Um, shout out to James Ridley and Renee Humes over at Oil, Oil Shop. Y'all, y'all go check them out on Facebook and Instagram. That's O-I-L apostrophe D. They have some of the best, uh, skin, scalp, and beard oils for you fellas that's got that beard gang going on. So y'all, yeah. y'all can get it for your man too, get that beard That's together. right, that's right. Yeah. So y'all go holler at them, uh, you can find them on Facebook and Instagram. That's Oil Shop. Thank you, James Ridley and Renee Humes. Also, Justice Bayless at Journey's Collections. Y'all, she's an 18 year old entrepreneur. I was talking to Sharita yesterday about how, now, back in my day, we worked, you know, we had our fast food jobs and right. so on mm -hmm. and so forth. But these kids today, are entrepreneurs in 16, 17, 18. I'm like, yeah. I would have never thought to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Her, her merchandise is gorgeous. Yes, y'all see, we rocking, we, we rocking it. We rocking it, man. We rocking it. So, uh, Justice Bayless at Journey's Collection, and she's on Instagram at Journey's Collection. You can email her at journeyscollections at gmail.com. And you can also go on my page because I have some uh, pictures of some of the merchandise that she has to offer, and it's very nice. Very so nice. y'all go check that out. Uh, shout out to Ebony Jones and Sweet Marie Luxury Bath and Body Commodities. Mm -hmm. Ebony okay. Jones. And y'all can find her on Instagram at shopsweetmarie and www.sweetmarie.com. She has... Uh, body butter, body buddy, uh, those bath bombs, those bath scoops. Yeah, those scoops. those are kind of melts. melts. Yes. yes, we need to uh, ask uh, young Jules how the best turn out. out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all look her up uh, on Instagram and also 
www.sweetmarie.com. RJ Discount Liquors over there at 3188 West Northside Drive. Black owned and operated Reggie and Jacqueline Anderson. Y'all go over there and shop with them. You hear me? Shay Boy Ray. Okay, ladies. Alex. Alex got y'all do rags. Ladies. Bonnets. Bonnets. Okay. Turbans. Turbans. So much more. He just became a sponsor yesterday, so big shout out to him. Y'all follow him on Facebook and Instagram at Shay Boy Rags. Okay. And also, another shout out to these Delicious Treats and More, Harriet Gibson. She's on Facebook and Instagram. Y'all look her up. She's supposed to be catering our show Sunday, so we'll let y'all know how that turns to out. These Treats. Yes. And that's all my sponsors. Y'all, I'm almost out of breath. a lot of sponsors. Shout out to y'all. We Thank appreciate the so love. Much. Yes, we really do. And um, if anybody is interested in becoming a sponsor, um, just hit me up and we'll let you know about our different sponsor packages. Stacy. <laughs> Stacy. Miss Holmes. Welcome. Miss <laughs> Suss and Bubbles. Y'all see all it? I know y'all see it. Yeah. We got so many samples. Don't be getting happy because y'all ain't getting none of them. Y'all had to buy y'all some. Um, yeah. We got all. She done brought us all kinds of samples. Even a sugar, sugar scrub. scrub. Tell us about that sugar scrub feature. Oh, baby. Got hold her feeling all soft and soft. Look, I tried it. Before and after. Rough and silky smooth, baby. Look, the truth. It's an investment and it smells. So good, y'all. It's y'all. Y'all gonna be in eight up. Okay. <laughs> Stacy, <laughs> Stacy, why don't you tell us a little bit about your background? Okay, well, um, well, I went to Lanier. I graduated from Lanier in nineteen ninety eight. Shout out to eight, my eight three three fam. Y'all know this much love from me. Class of ninety eight, you know. Um, you know, it was it was going to a new school, moving from Ken, you know, was very different. Um, I did meet some good people. You know, we're still friends now, you know, twenty years later. Yeah. You know, yeah. we don't have to talk all the time. Yeah. But we but know still but cool. we know we friends, yeah, that's you know. A real friend. And um it took me a year actually to make the recipe, to make it do what I wanted it to do. Mm -hmm. Um it's I messed up a lot of oil in the process. But um it's when I started, I had no idea that um, it would be what it is now. You know, it's still small, but it's a working process. And I have, you know, just the process in this last year, I can see a big difference in my products, in my customers, you know, and my customer base. You know, um, I started out with three bars and two customers. And a year later, you know, I can't tell you how many customers I have. Mm, mm, because mm. I ship, I also ship, you know, I deliver, I meet, you know, whatever, you know, the customer is in the surrounding area, you know, I can deliver. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's fun. It's something that um, I enjoy doing. And um, it's always nice to know that you're creating something. Something that actually works, you know. And I've seen my products work. You know, my facial bar. You know, I've seen the results mm -hmm. in some of my customers, even with myself. You know, I did a face-to-face -face from October to June just to see the difference in, you know, in my skin. And mm -hmm. I could, you know. Um, a lot of customers like the sugar scrub, you know, because um, it makes their skin soft, you know, and moisturized and hydrated. I swear to You know, um, and I made that by accident, you know. That wasn't a product that I intended on. By accident? Yeah. It was an accident. Excellent. The yeah, accident. the sugar scrub was an accident, you know. <laughs> Tell um, us how, how that was an accident, Stacey. Because I was messing around with my soaps and stuff, and I wanted to incorporate some sugar in my actual soap bar because sugar it's is so a good exfoliant, yeah. you know. And so I didn't quite get the oil recipe together, and I was too... I'm I'm very frugal when it comes to things. I didn't want to just throw it out. I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> you know? yeah. We're gonna make this so work for something. I said, yeah. let me see what I can do. So I ended up just putting some stuff together and using it on myself and saying, that was a pretty good mess up, mm -hmm. you know. I have a question. That's where the sugar scrub came from. Now, I know you said you started a year ago. 
And with the pandemic, I know 2020 been like the year of the hustler. Yeah. So what have you did to tweak your business to make it work more for you since well, this pandemic Well, since the out? pandemic hit, um, I actually, um, I'm up to about 15 bars now. So I tried a lot of different fragrances and stuff to see what people like. And recipes? I, no, I, I have different oil recipes, but I have one that is true that, you know, that everybody likes that I don't have any issues with. Which one is and, that's the coconut oil um, okay. oil recipe. It incorporates um, coconut oil, shea butter, sweet almond oil, castor oil. It's, it's not like um, it smells good. You know, my facial bars, I include things like tea tree oil, kale and clay, rose hip, um, sea buckthorn mm -hmm. oil, you know, activated charcoal, turmeric. You know, turmeric is a good product for our skin. You know, it does things too. You know, the nutrients and stuff, and it replenishes. Okay. You know, and... Um, Coconut oil is um it's good for cleansing, but you can't just use plain coconut oil. You know, um, you can, but it dries out also. You know, that's why you'll see a lot of things that have coconut oil in it. You know, instead of it being just, just coconut, coconut oil. oil. You know, and all of the oils that I use, um, everybody, everything plays a part. Everything does something different. You know, the castor oil makes the bubbles. You know, that's what that's what that's what makes the bubbles. You know, um. The sweet almond oil, it replenishes it. It, re it. it actually gives your skin that that fluffy feel, mm. you know, okay. that moisture. You know, the coconut oil cleanses, you know, um, the shea butter, it adds moisture to your skin. You know, if you use my soap bar and then you go and use a store-bought soap bar, you'll be able to tell the difference because you'll feel like a film. You know, on your skin. Definitely. From, Definitely. The, you know, from the store from bar. store bought soap. Okay. You know, and... Um, I mean, everything I make, I use. Before anybody else uses it, I use I it. it. You know, because I can, so I'll be able to tell you, you know, how it made my skin feel and what it does. You know, I also make, um, you know, hair grease. Mm -hmm. I make natural hair grease. I do the sugar scrubs. Um, I'll probably be introducing some new stuff later on, you know, maybe the beginning of the year. Right. You know, because there's some other things that I want to, you know, incorporate with my soap line. But my soap line has went from three bars to facial bars, sugar scrubs, hair oils, and 15 to 16 different kinds. And, you know, depending on, you know, the different seasons and stuff, I'll be having different, you know, fragrances and stuff that you probably can't get all year round. But around the holidays, That's you will a good be. idea. And, you know, I also um, request, you know, if it's something particular that, you know, a particular smell that you mm -hmm. want, if I can find it in the natural oils that I use, then I'll be able to do it. But, you know, I need some time in advance because right. you have to, you know, um, let the soap cure and all of that kind of it's stuff. It's a process. You know, it's a process mm -hmm. that you go through. Mm -hmm. Now, I actually have a good review for you from my mom. You know, you just gave her the soap. Um, was it the day before yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday. So, she uh, actually came over today and um, took me to the doctor. Okay. And we was talking, and um, she said, you know, I used my soap the other night. And you know, we were talking about how her sen skin, uh, sensitive her skin is. And she don't use nothing but body uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I used my soap the other night. I said, you did? <laughs> oh, Felicia, I love it. <laughs> yeah. I said, you do more. She said, oh, Felicia. She said, it didn't break me out of nothing. She said, and it made my my skin feel so good and soft. And she said, oh, yeah, I'm going to be using it. Yeah. Now, my, this is coming from somebody that, that hasn't used bar soap because her skin is, is very sensitive, but had, had, had been told by the doctor to only use body wash. Right. You know what I'm saying? And she told me that. Had she said, been, but you know, what did I tell her? I said, well... You probably you probably want to try mine though, cause yep, mine might yep, do something different. Yep. And you know, I'm glad that it worked out for. Her. I that mean, is a, that's that yeah. aloe, that's that aloe vera um, bar, by the way, that she has, and it has um, tea tree oil, rosehip oil, turmeric, kale, and clay, um, fresh cut aloe vera that I grow. Mm. Mm. I have yeah. of Y'all get all these natural products. Uh, I grow my own aloe vera. I have about 15 plants now. That, I, that I'm growing specifically just for my soap line. You hear that, Rooster Black? You need some aloe vera, you know who to holler at. You know. <laughs> yeah. I got about 15 pots. <laughs>
that I have now that, um, scar, of aloe vera man. that I grow, you know. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm pretty proud of that, you know. Yeah, that's um, awesome. Because, you know, awesome. even with um, making soap and my the products that I make, um, I, I'm i doing a lot a lot of things different now, you know, than I would used to. I'm getting more into, you know, plants and uh, natural stuff, well, and, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And, and um, yeah, you know, because... The benefits of just herbs and, you know, the things that, you know, naturally that we have that the earth has, you know, we need to utilize that more instead of processed stuff, yeah, okay. you know, mm-hmm. because right. it does better things for our skin, you know. Most of the stuff that we buy in the store, you know, is it has some kind of chemical base or, you know, it's full of chemicals or fillers or whatever, you know. So I've been just, um, I've been trying to do something different, you know, and I can tell the difference, you know, inside and out. You know okay. about the um, different things that you know that I'm doing now. Different, you know. I know you said you started making and selling your soap a year ago. So how long did have you been actually using your products? Um, you I started. To yeah, um, that would be the beginning of last year. Um, I had a friend that um, he used to always say, you know, you could be your own boss. You know, you don't have to, you, you can work for yourself one day, you know. Why haven't you, you know, he kind of like stayed on me and rolled my back about why you don't, do you know, why thing. you don't do your own thing. And I, at first, to be honest, um, me and my friend girl, we always had a thing that said we were going to do personal care home because we're in the healthcare field, mm-hmm. you know. But when you think about doing that um, in your retirement and you've already worked a job for 15, 20 years right. doing the same thing, you kind of don't want to do that, you right. know, as a no, retirement right. thing because no. that's a lot of work, you know. And to have a nice one, big, you know, and what everybody needs, it would take a lot of work, you know. And so I said, not being taking the easy way out, but I said I wanted to do something that would be fun. You know, if I could step out on my own or, if, you know, whatever I do, I want it to be something that I'm enjoy doing. And believe it or not, my kitchen is my kitchen sometimes, but most of the time it's a soap lab, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. I have big shelves and stuff with different products and stuff that I have. And, um, you know, it's just when I'm in the kitchen and I am and I got my music going and I'm in there doing what I do, the things that I make, um, all of my bars and stuff, you see they're different. You know, all of these designs and stuff, you know, the swirls and stuff oh, that yeah. you have. I see what you're saying. You see the different swirls mm-hmm. and stuff. You know, I don't. I never know exactly what my soap look, is gonna look like until I get it poured. But then I still don't know what it looked like because I haven't cut it yet. Right. You know, the outside will look one way, but the inside will look totally different. different. You know, and I see because I love my And so, um, you know, my friends like you. You know, you gonna sit there and admire it. I'm gonna look at it for a minute. It's my <laughs> creation. You know, you're supposed to. You know, it's <laughs> <yours>. So. <laughs> Like you gonna you gonna just look at it or you gonna make some more or what? What you gonna do? I, I'm gonna stand here and I'm gonna look at it for a few minutes. You know, um, I actually had made one yesterday, uh, a new fragrance. I had a um, a coworker uh, slash customer, you know, ask me. She said, "You ever tried? You ever found guava berry?" And I was like, "No, I never looked for it." She said, "Man, that smells so good." I said, "Well, if I find it, I'll make it for you." So I found it. Yeah. Okay. And uh, when I called and told her, I said, well, since you picked the fragrance, you got to pick the color. And she said, well, hot pink and hot orange with poppy seeds. It's on my shelf right now, drying. You know? Oh, cool. So okay. she pretty much designed so, the whole yeah. thing. And it's yeah. the new, it's the that, new that's bar. The new, that's the new bar. That's the new bar. Yeah. Wow, so, um, and, I, and it actually smells so good. You know, um, this one right here. Try it. This one is a eucalyptus and spearmint. The guys, the fellas will probably like this because it has that, you know, that... That, I smell it. That I guy kind it. of fragrance yes. to it. Mm-hmm. You know, that Irish Spring Zest kind yeah, of feeling. Yeah, that sounds like the Irish Spring you know? type But spring. once you use it, it has such a cooling effect, you know, after you um, bathe with it. You know, it makes your skin feel like refreshed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so great. Right. You know, I you had, um, since I was playing with my new slab mold, you know, that's why I brought you these, you know, as samples. Yes. Just messing around Thank with my new so mold. Thank you so much. We gonna, and, we gonna um, be put them to use. Them. Yeah. <laughs> you guys just um you know the the, the kind of way we met you know it was um it was unexpected you know what i'm saying and um i was just when i looked at in my inbox and i seen sharita had sent me the text message you know mm-hmm. and i was like 
Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. You know, I didn't kind of like, it wasn't a let me think about it kind of thing. It was a Girl. like, okay, where you want me to meet you at? Or, you know what I'm saying? And so I asked them, I was like, so the samples and stuff? And so I was like, um, I was kind of excited. You know, and I don't have y'all were excited. Y'all were excited, but I was excited because it was actually like, um, you know, somebody had actually saw some of the stuff that I, you know, that I was doing. And, you know, in this last year, I've gotten my LLC, you know, so I'm legit oh, now. Shout out Go to ahead, and, um, You know, I've been working on new packaging and, you know, labels and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I can say if you're building a small business and this is the first time you're doing this, you know, it's a working process. We don't know everything about everything that we're doing, but we learn as we go. So everything that I learned, I've been putting it to use, you know. And so um, if it's something that you really want, you know, in life, you know, then you have to, you know, you have to go towards your dream, your goal, whatever it is you're trying to do. You have to work toward it, you know. You can, um, I, I say manifest. Oh, manifest. Yes. I'm big but on you that. Can, but you can, can the because board. the very things that I'm doing right now as far as my small business goes, I mean, I started manifesting last year and the year before that. That's what you got to do. You know, and, you know, I am a firm believer in God. And, you know, the things that we pray for, we might not get them at the time that we pray right. for, but we get it when, it's, when we're supposed to, yeah. you know. And so everything, like I say, that's going on in my life with my soap business, you know, I, I've been I've been wanting this for a long time, you know, and I'm finally being able to reach more people. You know, more people are able to try my products. More people are... You know, they, they called me and they asked me about, you know, different things. I did a baby shower um, about two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. oh, cool. You know, I did a baby shower order. That was kind of a big order, you know, 40 bars. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and, um, and she made them. In so were, were they these size bars? Or no, were they, they, they were the, the, they the were, ones? Yeah, they were the regular, yeah. Yeah, they were the regular size, size bars. And so um, I was kind of like, I, I was a little nervous at first because, you know, I do. I have shipped a lot of stuff that I made, but actually to make a particular order, you know, I it, I just wanted everything to be just, you, you know, and I and I kind of like hit like, a little snag, you know, in between, you know, getting it together. But it was something that I could correct, you know, quick, fast, and hurry. Mm -hmm. So that was an experience, you know. I learned something from that, you know. You have to, you know, when you're doing stuff like that, you have to prepare, you know, you have to. You know, make sure your time frame and everything is good because you can't just make it and then use it. You know, right. and like it you has say, to you set. Me you have to cure it. It has to cure. You know, and um, so you could because you want your soap bar to do everything it's supposed okay. to do with the oils and stuff, the natural um, oils and stuff that you use because every oil plays a part. You know, everything has to be weighed. It's a process. It's not nothing that I just go in my kitchen and, and say, you, oh, right, you know, right. You're not going to be able to just walk in there and say, hey, I want to make some soap and just, mm -hmm. just go in there and do it. It's a process. Mm -hmm. It took me a year to make the recipe for my soap bars, to actually get it to do what I wanted to do, moisturize, condition, soften, you know. Right. The activated charcoal bar is good for helping with blemishes and keeping the bacteria and stuff, you know, opening your pores and stuff, cleaning your face. You know, you can tell the difference after you use it for a while, you know. And, um, you know, I'm just, like I say, I always say I'm thankful. I'm thankful for the supporters. I'm thankful for the haters. I'm thankful for everybody, you know. Thank you. Because cool. everybody. everybody's mm -hmm. not going to be happy for you. Everybody's not going to support you. Um, that's just the realities of life, you it know. Is, but you is. can't let, you know, what somebody else feel about you stop you from com from doing you know, and to yes, stop you from right. doing what you want to do in your life, you know, because you only get one. You have to take advantage and enjoy it, you know. So, just like speaking about what you said, you got to try to do your best and, you know, don't worry about what nobody else thinks. Have you ever gotten to a point, like I know you said you've been doing it for a year, have you ever gotten to a point where you was like, I don't know if this is going to work, you know, and how did you get out of that mind frame to keep your Yeah, business? I, you know what, I actually, um, I actually went through that early part of the year, you know, um, right before the virus, mm -hmm. uh, virus hit, you know, and I, I kind of got in a, uh, a funk, maybe you can say, um, I kind of had lost my weight a little bit and, um, it took, it took some time, but, um, I, I refused 
to let it beat me, you know, because when I started it, it was three bars and two customers. When I hit the funk that I hit, my customer base had came up quite a bit, you know what I'm saying? I was meeting more people. I was doing more projects, you know, and um, that was my, that's my happy place. So even if I wouldn't have, you know, even if I would have was to say I wouldn't keep the business, I wouldn't have kept my business going, I probably would have still made soap anyway because that's 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 where I'm happy at. So the what, most. what brought you out of there to make you want to keep doing what you're doing? Um, I don't know. I guess I would have to say my sister, you know, she, she encourages me quite a bit, you know. Um, She's older than me. She has a small business too, Fabricated Illusion. She makes bracelets and she does trays. She does that epoxy, okay. you know. Um, she does the stones, you know, the different um, stones and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think I would have to say her because <laughs> she named Sussy Bowles. Oh, okay. Me and her were together. And um, in the store, and um, <laughs> don't you do it? Do we do to get the touch? <laughs> don't you do it? Because, because even though Sussy Bubbles came to be in all, you know, September of last year, um, you know, I told you this was a process, so I had already been working on it, but I didn't start out making cold process soap, mm -hmm. I was making melt and pour to see if I wanted to make soap. And melt and pour is just like a soap base, you just Put in a microwave on the stove, melt it, put some fragrance oil in mm -hmm. it, put some color in it, and boom, pour in the mold, and it's soap, you know. And so we were in the store, and uh, she she was like, well, you need to find something to do. You need a hobby, you know. And I was like, oh, I don't need a hobby. Yes, you do. You need a hobby. So it was either making bath bombs or doing soap. So I got a soap kit. It had the melting pour soap in there. And I did that for a while. And then I went to researching and stuff. And I'm like, uh, I don't want to make melting pour soap. That's not real soap. I want to do, I want to put my own oils together mm -hmm. and make my own recipe and make my own soap bar. So the melting pour, it was already. It's just soap based. You just yeah. melt it and so you pour it in the mold and that's soap. So it's basically already made soap. Yeah, that's like you just melt it. it. You just scent it, melt oh, it, and, that's, that's, that's and I said that's cheap, you know. Yeah, yeah. And so I said, well, shoot, I don't want to do this type of stuff. I want to do the real stuff. So mm -hmm. I started researching and putting oils together. And believe it or not, I messed up a lot of oil. You know, just putting mm -hmm. combinations together. You everything has to be weighed anyway. And so you have in order for you have to look at your chart and say you want you want yourself to be conditioned. You want it to be moisturized. You want it to be cleansing. You want it to you know what I'm saying? You want it to bubble. You want it to lather. I That's do. why when you, when you get in a bathtub with my soap and just say your water gets cold and you turn the water back on to heat it up, you it's making bubbles. Just from my soap being in the water. Sussy bubbles. That, that makes sense. And so we were in the store one day. The day I was getting the um, soap base and my sister was, I said, well, if I'm going to make soap, what are we going what, what to call it? Yeah. And she said, sussy bubbles. And I said, girl, please. She said, that's what it's gonna be nice, Sussy Bubbles. Mm -hmm. and that's, and what it is. that's that's where <laughs> Sussy Bubbles came from. And then um, she messes with me sometimes. Yesterday, as a matter of fact, she was like, uh, "See, I'm gonna start making soap, and I'm gonna be the real Sussy Bubbles." Uh oh, no. <laughs> said, she uh, uh, no, since you can't do this, she said, "I'm gonna be the real Sussy Bubbles," and I just started laughing and I said, "Well, you know, you, but you won't be me though." Oh, you know. She told you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at making soap, and she's good at doing bracelets and stuff. This is one of her bracelets right here. You know. Oh, oh that's cute. cute. I love the stones, love the stones. Yeah. and they so they they yeah they not light. Yeah, and so um, really the name of, like yeah, them. and her I want um it. I want one though. It's called Fabricated <laughs> Illusions, and I'll give you her information. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, you know, you can see all the variety of things that she does because she does quite a few things. You know, and um, you know that's how Sussy Bubbles came to be. Came came to be, my sister. Now, Stacy, you know. I know um, you've been telling us all the 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 pros of this business. I want to know at what point did you just finally decide, like, look, I'm gonna do this. You know what I'm saying? Now I know you said you had somebody pushing you about starting it. Um, a lot of people 
we procrastinate. You know, we say we gonna but do stuff and but we don't can't. do it. I know, and I used to be one of those people. You know, I told you the other day. Um, you know, we can have things going on in our lives that are control us, and we don't realize. Mm-hmm. You can be a toxic individual and be poisoning your own self. Yes. You be killing your own dreams. You be taking away from your own self. Yes. You know, it happens. You know. And, and until you know. And, and, and until you come to the terms of, hey, I instead of trying to fix everybody else, I need to fix me. Yes. You know, you will be in that same predicament. I, I used to try to figure out why is this stuff happening to me? Why am I going through all these things? You know, it was because I had things going on inside of me that I didn't realize, and it was it was it was killing the person that who I was really supposed to be. You know, I had to actually take a look at myself, you know, and see what I needed to fix for myself. You know, so I did so I could be a better person. You know, I started working on self. You know, and yeah, and God has humbled me so much. You know, on so many things, I'm not where I need to be, but I'm I, I'm sure not where I used to be. Okay, and I'm in a whole different Amen. space. Than where I where I was even a year ago even six months ago mm-hmm. you know I'm a, I'm I'm continually every day working on myself right. so that I can be the person that I need to be for myself for my kids for my mom for my family you know I can be a role model to somebody mm-hmm. you know it might not seem like it's all that you know like it's a big deal but you know when you when you're trying to work a full time job and you're trying to take care of your kids and you got you know, your own stuff going on in your life, it's kind of hard sometimes to balance, but you can do yeah. it, you know, I, you can do I, it, I, I you can, you can be that, same. you can be that soccer mom and that yeah, business on you, yeah. you know, you can, you can do those things, you know, and like no, I say, it's, every no. day, it's a working process, you know, and I don't have, I don't have it all, and I don't have the answers to, I don't have all the answers, but from just my experience mm-hmm. in this year, you know, I have learned quite a bit about Myself personally and my business, you know. And when I got that LLC, that made it official yes. because I went yes. back and forth with it. You know, did I really want to do it? Did I really want to go that route? You know, and actually have a small business, you know, that was recognized. If it's something that you want, you have to go after it. You can't let you can't let things and Don't people. Me you can't let things and people determine how your life goes. You know what I'm saying? You are the orchestrator and the writer of okay, your own I life. Guess. You I control agree. your own pen. It's up to you to control your pen. Right there. You know? You write your own story. Yes, ma'am. It can happen. No, she's to you. Yes. And I haven't I always it. been this way. It. But I have not always been this way. This I took some work. I wouldn't be able to tell you. This, this has took situation. some work. This has took some work and some prayer. Work. <laughs> yes, girl. Yeah. Growth in prayer. My mom, she'll tell you she she you know I I had some we we had some gloomy times, but one thing she'll tell you right now, she never ever ever stop praying for me. My mom Can't never go. never never stop praying for me. Praying she never she never gave up on me. You know, and I am thankful for that. You know, so this is who I am. And when I'm gone, this will be my legacy. Okay, Miss Susie Bubbles, baby. Come through. Okay. Come through, Stacy. I'm about to cry, though. <laughs> Five six Oh, my goodness, Stacy. I mean, it's just really amazing how coming from then to now, you know, how yeah. things have really took off and, and, and made a change for the better and from what you told me baby you shipping soap all out of state. I do. You have customers outside I do. of Mississippi. I do. Yeah. Oh that's what we do. I mean, I do. It's amazing. And um you know and they'll call me and they'll tell me what they want and you know I, I, I get it to them, you know. And the more places my soap reach, the more customers mm-hmm. I get, the more people I can Share with, you know. Now I know you. We got the soaps and we got the sugar scrubs. Um, what else can we expect from Sussy Bubbles? Um, in the near future, probably body butters and you know stuff like Ooh, that. Yeah. Um, what 
about a nice oil, like an after shower oil. Oh, and something. my, um, I, I will be making, I told you the other day I was going to do a yarny bar. You did? You know, for the ladies. You did? And, um, so, that's, that's the things that I'll be working on next, you know. And, um, exactly. who knows, maybe shampoo and conditioner, I don't know. It's just, it's oh, just. Oh, natural shampoo and conditioner. Well, see, to be honest, you see all of these? Yeah. I wash my hair with my activated charcoal my bar. Soap. Yes, my bar. Yes. Are you serious? Do, and it, she it don't cleans, use. It cleans your hair. Yeah. And this and is my, she don't and use. This, and this is my hair oil that I make. My hair grease that I make. That's on my hair now. Yeah. So you haven't used any regular shampoo since you started making your right. And soaps. and funny thing, I started making my shampoo, um, the the activated charcoal bar because last year my aunt. Wanted me to make her granddaughter some um, activated charcoal soap. Mm -hmm. So my aunt from California is the reason why that activated charcoal facial bar came into play. Because yes. she she requested that for her granddaughter. Thank you, auntie. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm using that, baby, on my yeah. face. And so when she went home to California for Christmas, she took it home to her for Christmas. And she called back and told her how good it was mm -hmm. and stuff. And so that is how... The activated charcoal bar came to be. Mm. You know, it works. I, I love, love it. I love it. I, I love need it. to use it more. And often, aloe vera, I love, I love aloe vera. It. And so I said, well, some people are allergic to activated charcoal. So let me make a facial bar for someone that you know can't use activated charcoal. So that's how the aloe vera bar came to play. Cause I had I had a little pot of aloe vera when I first started. Mm -hmm. And now, like I say, I got about Plants. 15 plots okay. of aloe vera because I incorporated it in my soap. It does wonders for your skin too, you know. And I so, use real aloe vera now. Yeah. So I and so I, 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 clean, I do a real aloe vera. I, you know, cut it and, you know, scrape it out. Scrape it out mm -hmm. And I blend it up and make it into like a gel and liquid. And I incorporate it. And I incorporate it in the facial bar. So. Um, yeah, I need to try that. And then, like I poppy seeds, I'm a fan of poppy seeds. I seed. love pop those poppy, poppy seed seeds. bars. And so that lemon poppy seed actually is one of the three that I started off with. And that's my favorite. The and lemon and I think it's going to be my favorite, too, because I just started using them. And the what poppy it seeds for? are, it's just, um, it's just a good hydrant for your skin, you know. It has your skin, it makes your skin feel good, mm -hmm. you know, soft, smooth, mm -hmm. you know. It's not, it doesn't I love dry you the out. Smell and the scent. And citrus Ooh. oil is good for our skin anyway. You know, it puts back the the moisture that you want. That's why you know, I the elast it, the elasticity in your skin keeps your skin tight. That's why a lot of us walking around here forty years old mm -hmm. and pl forty and plus is. and skin is still in good Thank condition, you, you know, <laughs> because we use good good moisturizer, you know. Now, I know you said that the activated charcoal, is that that's specifically for the face? I mean, I have some customers that use it for their whole body. My, and, I, and my son is one of them because <laughs> he told me the other day, he said, that brown and black bar, Mom. He said, I love that. I was like, that's the face. He said, well, I've been taking a bath with the soap, you know, with it. Mm -hmm. And he, I said, well, you? He said, yeah. So he bathes with it, you know. Can and any, some of my customers do bathe with it. Can any of the bars be used? You on your face? Any of my soap bars can be used on your face. Mm -hmm. The only difference is the soap bars that I actually make for the soap for mm -hmm. your face, I add like the tea tree and the rose hip oil and the kale and clay, you know, and the turmeric and stuff like that. But, you know, any of those oils can be added to any bar, mm -hmm. you know. And um, so, I mean, everything that I make, you can use on your face. I, I've tried them all. Like I say, I make them, I try them. You know, nobody tries anything before I do, yeah. you know. And so, I'm the test dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Who would know right. best but you? You right. know, you making it. Right. That's so, right. Um, I mean, I've used them all on my face. It, it doesn't do, it, it's the same thing, you know. So, I mean, any of them can be used anywhere. You can wash your hair with any of them, too. I mean, because the, the oil process, the oil uh, recipe that I use is universal, mm -hmm. you know. So, it can go on any parts of your body. Okay. And you know, the sugar scrub, you know, is good like after you shave and stuff like that, you know. The so the people the sugar scrub you, they, do you you do this before or after you shave? Um, I usually I do it. Show the folks. I you, you know you <laughs> so most scrub. yeah, most it's people use so it like you can use it before or after, but you know, <laughs> after it gives you that smooth you know, that smooth feel, you know, after you shave, like under your arms and stuff like mm -hmm. that. It'll give you that that feel that you got on top of your head. And it moisturizes. Yeah, and it, and it moisturizes your skin. So it just exfoliates, you know. Do you make so. a facial exfoliant? 
Um, can you use this on your face? Yeah, I have some people that use that on their face. Okay. Now, I've tried it. I mean, it feels good. You know, um, I also, I make a cinnamon um, coffee scrub because I do, um, that's an exfoliant too, coffee grains. Mm -hmm. But I have a cinnamon scrub bar that I use. I make it for as a foot scrub. But I have some people that use it for exfoliating their face and they use it as a soap bar to actually bathe with. Really? But because the, the coffee grains are so rough, you know, I thought it was kind of harsh on my skin. Mm -hmm. And so I said, what better, you know, way I can use this soap bar for myself? would be as to a, like a foot scrub. Mm -hmm. So it gets all that dead skin and stuff off your feet and makes you feel, your feet feel soft and smooth yeah. like how Okay, you, know, you cut no baby. You got it. You got it. Yeah, you know. Oh and my so, goodness. Um, yeah, so, I mean, if you have not tried Sussy Bubbles, um, soap bars or sugar scrubs, then you're missing out. Baby, you I promise y'all missing out. Y'all are missing out. It's and you can, um, you can uh, find me on Instagram, um, Stacey Danielle 35 um, um, Facebook, um, under I have a Sussy Bubbles um, page, or you can go to my regular page, Stacy Holmes, and um, you know you can also contact by, me by email or um, phone number. And so, um, you ought to check me out. And now I just learned something new today because I didn't even know you was on Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> I did okay. not know that. Yeah. Now, Stacy, what um. What would encouraging words would you, would you say to someone that's trying to start a small business or wanting to get a small business started and just, you know, lacking a little motivation? Do not procrastinate. Follow your dreams. Whether that's big, whether that's small, whether everybody likes it, whether nobody likes it, follow your own dreams. You know, you don't have to ride nobody else's way. Ride your own. You know, you have plenty of, you know, we all have the same 24 hours. You know, sometimes it seems like, you know, with people working jobs full time, some of us work two, two, three jobs, you know, and then you're still trying to run a business or whatever. And yeah, it gets hard. And yeah, you get tired. And yeah, you get to the point sometimes where you feel like you just need a break. Woo, but Jack. guess what? <laughs> Your reward is when you get to where you're going so you can get that break later. Yep, so you can right now. That. You got to hustle and grind for what you yes. want. Yes, ma'am. Yes, you know, nothing comes to a sleep of a dreams. You know, you can have all these things in your head and not try to do anything with them. And before you know it, 40 then came, 50 then came, right. 60 then came. And you still doing what? Saying what you wish you could have done. Ain't instead that. of putting your feet to the floor and getting and it done. Running. And it doesn't matter how long it takes you. You know what I'm saying? It might take you five years. It might take you three. Sometimes you, you might get lucky. It might take you a year or maybe two. Mm -hmm. But as long as you're working towards your, your dream, you know, eventually you'll get to where you, you want to be at. Right. And then you can take that break. Right now, it's yeah. grind time. It's a lot of days. Girl, yeah, leave it alone. <laughs> she give me you know what? Yeah, I got to keep her together. It's a lot of days. I leave UMC. I work 7P to 7A. You know, so I work overnight. I'm, I'm a night owl. You know, so a lot of days I get out of UMC and, you know, I got, I'm tired because I didn't work all night, you know, but I get home and say, oh man, you know, I got, I need to make this soap. I need to make this soap because I need it to start drying because I need to have this for then. No, sometimes I don't feel like it, but at the end, I know what I got. It's something that I got to do. I can sleep a little bit later and that's what I do. Or then I might say, I'm going to go lay down. And I might have somebody call me and say, hey, can you deliver? Can you bring me? Can you ship me? Mm -hmm. Guess right. what? I get up and I go handle that. Mm -hmm. You know, because customer service plays a big part in your customer base, oh, too. I'm glad right. you, you said that. You know, because some people, I had it for instance, you know, um, and I'm going you know, I'm to I'm leave it short. But I made a, a comment a while back. You don't beg a person and pay them, too. Woo! Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all hear that? If you going you know, the same thing that I'm requesting from you with my money in my hand, it's 15 other people that really, really want to make their bread. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to beg you to do it and then pay you too. I you know what I'm saying? I'm with that 130. And that don't mean that you better than nobody else. That just means that you paying for a service. You right. expect your service. You know what I'm saying? You're not asking them to do it for free. You know? And that goes with any business, you know? Um, I always say you have to give a little to get, you know what I'm saying? So that's why 
you know, sometimes like samples and stuff like that. If I want people to know about my product, sometimes I might have to, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Here, try this. Here, try that. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that gets, you know, that, that lets people know too, you know, I want you to try my products. I'm willing to let you try it, mm -hmm. you know? She, and so she that. She know y'all coming back. <laughs> I've been back ever since. Uh, she know y'all coming back. <laughs> I've been back ever since. Girl, look, let me make you laugh. So for Mother's Day, you know, I had uh, I had got my mom, uh, I had did a bag. I just filled up some stuff. And I hadn't really, you know, I was in my little funk or whatever. And I really hadn't been making any soap, mm -hmm. you know. And so I had filled a little bag up. And I told her, I said, well, I'll be out there when I get out work in the morning. And I uh, got you a little happy. Mm -hmm. So I had bought her some body wash, honey. And put it in the bag. And, um. Uh, I had put it in the bag. When I got out there, she was looking through a bag or whatever. She was tearing that bag up, girl. I was like, Mom, what are you tearing that bag up for? Yeah. What are you looking for? I'm looking for my soap. <laughs> <laughs> she pulled that bottle out. She said, oh, you can't get <laughs> for good stuff. She already knew what stuff. time it was, honey. She girl, already knew what time it was. She said, I don't want this body wash. I want my soap. Okay. She was like, you don't play with her. Don't so play her, with her. Yeah, so her and my aunts, you know, I have to ask them, you know, all the time when I talk to them, I have to ask them, you know, do y'all need any soap? Mm -hmm. Because, baby, they would chew me up. If you come without if that I soap. She is the reason why I got out of my phone. Because she wanted her soap, baby. Mm -hmm. no, but Mama I want that product. She wanted her soap. <laughs> <laughs> I said, let me get in the kitchen and get back. Okay, go in there and whip it up. You so, already know. Yeah, she is the reason why I came out of that little phone call I was in. Because mm -hmm. she was looking for that soap. It was so funny, though. I just. <laughs> Mama said, well, she yeah. said, what is this? My wife stuff. You didn't buy She threw that on the seat. Yeah, bro. she didn't want it. <laughs>
He got two shows, one at 8 and one at 10. But tomorrow night is his grand reopening. I mean, from what I was told, they done done it up up in there. Okay. So, y'all might want to swing on down tomorrow night and see what they got going on. But uh, tune in tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. I will be doing an interview with Mike, and he's going to be telling y'all about all what he has going on. So, y'all tune in for that. Also, this Sunday at 4 o'clock p.m., Northside Lee will be in the Fox Cave Chronicle. Okay. So, I know y'all don't want to miss that. No. Y'all definitely don't. I know he got one. a lot to say, and I am <laughs> here real forward. I got my ears wow. already tingling. So, Sunday, 4 o'clock p.m., Northside Lee will be in the Fox Cave. Also, Monday, AK-47. I know y'all don't want to miss I mean, I've them. been waiting on them. So, they gonna tell us up. tune in for that. Monday at 6.30, okay. we got AK-47 in the box cave. It look like you uh, you filling up. Baby, I mean, it, 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 it's a blessing. And, I mean, at one point, I was like, you know, I'm just gonna, you know, take it slow. But then I was like, I'm grinding, man. I gotta get it. So, I'm just filling my plate up, and I'm just riding the wave and trying to make it bigger and better each and every time we have a show, each and every week. And the uh, season ends November 30th, and we're going to start a season two after the new year. Okay. So we got a long list of guests, and we got okay. a lot of pop-up shows, and we got a lot of stuff going on So okay. that we're trying to incorporate with the show. and. I'm just here for it. Y'all might yeah. see us summer everywhere. We pop up on it. Here for it. We so, we're going to do it. We'll be at the video. Hey, too. one thing about us. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Don't limit us. Pop up shows. We there. Y'all need some press. We are the press. You hear me? We will come to whatever you are. Right, we do your videos. studio. We will come to your studio. We your video shoots. We will come to your video shoots. Any location. Man, we ain't scared. We want to pull up and get y'all and get that exclusive. Show if you want that exclusive, exclusive, you got to do what you got to do. So, don't limit us. Small black businesses, all black businesses, not just small, you know, black owned operated. We here for y'all. We, we, we are here for it. So, don't limit us. We spread out. Because <laughs> guess what? We still going to do, do it. it. So, all donations are welcome. Y'all already know what it is. Dollar sign F O X X Y F I T. That's Cash App Me Foxy Fit. Y'all know our donations go to the show. That's making it bigger and better. So, send them in. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's five or ten, send it in. You know, and we're going to definitely appreciate that. Um, once again, shout out to my teammates that couldn't be here tonight. Sharita Robinson, get well soon. DJ Reese Reed, we already know who's on the work. You're getting the work done, you got to pay bills. So, hey. we'll see you tomorrow. Fee, you got anything else to say? Y'all, thank you to Sussy Bubble. I love the activated charcoal. But, um, y'all have a great evening. And shout out to Can't Run Us Apparel. Okay. I think you wearing Can't oh, Run Us Apparel, yeah. right? Okay. Okay. Shout out to Jonathan Hollins. He's in the house. Mr. DeVille snuck up in here knocking on my door. <laughs> uh, and shout out to my boy Rooster Black. He's on production tonight. So okay. thank you so much, Carl B. You know, Fox love you. <laughs> <laughs> thank y'all so much. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. Tune in tomorrow morning for my time oh, interview. Y'all don't. Hey, y'all ain't got that. nothing to do. Come on out. I'm telling you, get your laugh on. The grand reopening it's is going down. It's going down. Y'all need to be there we tomorrow night. We're going to be in the building, so y'all. Well Look for us. us. Look for us in the building. The Fox K Chronicles will be in the building. Look, Look at good as we want to do. Thank y'all so much. We will see y'all tomorrow morning. Thank you, Stacy. Bye, y'all. <laughs> That was awesome. I enjoyed it. <laughs> she always had